this started. And I'll start with you. What's your name? Sal Maneo. And why are you here? I'm here because I'm a commercial fisherman okay. trying to protect my industry. Um, we're being thrown out of uh, business. They're taking uh, like a piece of our hand every other year, you know? We are being outnumbered by so many people and uh, just trying to protect my livelihood. What do you fish out of? I fish out of Monterey Bay. I fish out of uh, Southern California, the Channel Islands, the Tour area. I fish out from Alaska. And one thing about California is we have nobody in our government that protects us and, you know, speaks for us. You know, we have too much opposition against us, you know, and that's why we're here today. We're here to try to let the public know what we're up against. Yeah. There's too much opposition against us, and they don't have the right information, you know. Just like this guy here, you know, he, he can tell you a little bit about what he's going through. What's your name? Give me a minute, I will. Okay. Okay. Is he being shy? Yeah. I think he's shy. Yeah. Is he shy? Are you? You're not shy. He's this not guy's shy. not shy. What's your name? Frank Sal Aliotti. Oh, you're Aliotti. Is that a bad thing? No, that's a good thing. It means that you have a lot you of history here. You must know some Aliotis then. What's that? You must know some Aliotis. Mm -hmm. This is an Aliotti right here too. Is he? Nice. Why are you here? I'm here to uh, support my livelihood. How long have you been fishing? How long have I been fishing? Since I was seven years old. Uh, and, and, and Julie Packard is taking our livelihood away from us. She thinks the ocean belongs to her. The ocean belongs to everybody. You know, I don't hold fish in captivity. She's the one who holds them in captivity in the cage over there. You know, the, this town was made by commercial fishermen in the old days in the sardine days. Now it's been taken away to what and she's got politicians in the pocket, she's got money, and she's destroying she wants to turn this country, this place into another third world country. That's what she wants. She ain't gonna be happy because she don't see any any commercial fishermen left. That's the bottom line. How long have the Aliotis been here? In Monterey. Yeah, fishing. Uh, you got, you're talking about the 30s. Probably, 1930s. Yeah. I don't know. Back like when the sardines started. Right. Yeah. We're like me and him. We're uh, we're, third, we're third generation. Third generation fishermen. This has been easy. Our fathers did it. Our grandfathers you know that you did my it. Camera you take a couple too. You know, we're all born and raised here. You know, my, our parents came from the old country for a better life. But now what it's turned out to be, it's like a communist country. It's all dictated because people's money are driving us out of here. That's not the bottom line. That's why we came here, for a better life. We feed the world. That's what we're here for. We're not criminals. We're just trying to make everybody eat fish. We, we fish green. We they're had taking, on the boat. They're, they're taking away jobs from, from California. Meanwhile, there's all this seafood being flown in from other parts of the country. I mean, it doesn't make no sense. No. We even have our boats painted green. You know? Our boats are even painted green. That's right. That's right. We, kill, we, 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 we do not kill any marine birds, marine mammals. We fish green. We're, we're, we're a very legitimate fishery. We love the ocean Why more than anybody. the aquarium how much damage all their filtration stuff does to the ocean after they're by filtering and throwing it right back in. No one does any research on that. What's your name? John Aliotti. John Aliotti. I'm a commercial fisherman. I fish for spot bras. And it's, it's just tough to make a living when you have somebody breathing down your neck all the time thinking that what they're saying is right. And you tell, tell the public what kind of fish to eat and what not to fish to eat. Does it make sense? What's your name? Thomas Noto. Got the fish of vessel Lady J of Monterey. Been fishing my whole life. And I, I agree with everything these guys say right here. Yeah, we're all we're all from the same town. We've been in this business since we were little kids. We just don't want to be put out of business. Go green. If fishing gets shut down, 
What are your options? <laughs> we don't have any. We don't have any. We don't have any. Collecting we don't have any options. We don't have any. That's what we do. Right? Our options yeah. are yeah. just closed we're down. We're Farmers of the sea. Commercial boats. That's right. Farmers you know, of the sea. Who, whose boat, you know, has got so much value? We're on the endangered higher, species lower. list. Yeah, we are. We won't Wrong be able to sell them. Wrong you know, money. people are not going to buy them. So, I mean, it's like... That, that, that's our for, our for, former type of retirement. Honk the horn. We're there you go. Fish, fish the game. Honk the horn. Nobody's there to buy it. Yeah, I, I dread that. I really do. You know, we're talking us here. You know, these guys you see here. We got at least another 20 years. At least another 20 years. At least. years. At least. And we're afraid that we're not going to be able to be doing this. It's very scary. That's, that's, the very scary. Scary. that's the way it is right now. I don't see retirement for us in this no. industry. No way. I really don't. There's, there's no future the way it's going right now for us. They're dragging us down. They take, they take the sail, up, the, the wind out of our sail. What they did was more. instead of taking everybody down at once, they're just chopping up the tree down little by little. Finger today, a hand tomorrow, and our yeah. need to t need to tell Julie Packer to go somewhere else with their aquarium. I mean, it's hard enough out and, and light, lighten up on us a little bit. And lighten up on us. Come on now, exactly whether it is right. to feed their family or to feed uh, the consumers, right? You guys all married? Yes, we yes. are. You guys all have kids? We all have kids. All have kids. And they depend on us to catch fish so we can make money. And we all have sustainable fisheries. Every one of us here. Every one of us. What do you guys fish for? I fish for spotted prawns. Squid and sardines. Squid and sardines. All right. So what's your name? Uh, Gino Panisi. And what do you do? I work at Royal Seafoods on the wharf. Is that a? Fish market. It's a fish market? How long has it been there? And 30, almost 35 years. And what are you doing here today? Today I'm helping to support the fishermen so we hopefully keep the Monterey Bay open so we can keep fishing. Do you go out fishing yourself? Occasionally, yes. And how many people in your family go fishing? Um, used to be almost all of us. <laughs> now a bunch of my brothers became contractors, so there's only a few of us left kind of in it. And is this your livelihood? Yes. If you didn't have this, what would you do? Uh, I don't know. Never went back to school, so I'd probably either have to go back to school or try to find a construction job, but those aren't easy to find right now either. If you have a message to send out to the world today, what would it be? Eat more local fish. <laughs> Stop get, buying the, eating the imported fish. And where do your fish come from? Right here. We just do all fresh local from Monterey Bay. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs>